This is Lori at artofdesigns.ca. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to do this camo text effect using only Inkscape. When we'll learn a couple of methods to do this. So let's open up a new document and we'll get started. So first things first, we'll go to File, Document Properties, uncheck Show Page Border, choose Pixels. As our display units close out of this menu, we'll open up a line and distribute, edit objects, colors, gradients menu, and we'll start by going to the text tool. Let's click on the A and click on the board and I'm just gonna write camo in caps and I'll need to scale that up so we can see it press shift and control and it doesn't matter what text you use I'm using one called arrow and click apply in the text menu and then we'll X out of the text menu and I'm going to make a few copies of this, but first I'm going to finalize it by going to Path, Object to Path. I'm going to ungroup it so that it comes into four pieces. And I'm going to go Path, Union. And now I'm going to right click and duplicate. And I'll put this one down here. And I'll right click and duplicate again. And I'll put this one off to the side for later. Okay, so now we're going to draw a rectangle. Let's come down here and draw a rectangle. It doesn't matter what size or what color. And we'll go over to the Pattern tab here, click on the Patterns. And by default, the first one is Stripes. Let's, let's go down to the very bottom and you'll see one called, where is it, Camouflage, right there. So I don't know how this would be useful, but we have to clip this out so that it's only one, one section. Uh, so we're gonna go to the Rectangle tool again and we'll draw a rectangle over this section here. I'll zoom in using control. It'll make this a little bigger. Okay, that's good enough with this red object selected. Let's press shift and select the rest of this pattern here and we'll go object, clip, set. And now we have a piece of this pattern that we want. Let's scale it up using shift and control make it nice and big and I'm gonna do this two ways so I'll, I'll duplicate this duplicate the pattern and I'll move it over here now this object I'm going to let's raise this one to the top and I'll place this down at the bottom so if you look at the colors here if you place this in the middle you're gonna get a lot of brown on the letter C so let's place it down here where we can get the maximum number of colors from from this pattern in our graphic so something like that and this one will stay underneath and I'll place it about the same area something like that now let's let's take these two objects and we'll go object clip set and these two objects object mask set now what has happened here so this one here if we go to the nodes tool or well let's select let's look at their message down here it says path 57 nodes masked in layer one okay so we know that it's still editable so i can grab a node and you'll see that i can do things let me find my graphic here if you ever lose your graphic just press the one key or the letter or the number three key and then you can find it again okay so this one is editable you can see that we have nodes now this one is a pattern still if you look at the fill it's a pattern and it's a rectangle clipped in layer one okay so to change that and actually before I do this one let me just show you that this one has some sort of transparency which I I don't understand why because the transparency is all the way up and the alpha channel is also all the way up so you'll have to keep that in mind when you when you're making your camo if you want to use this effect something neat about it is that all the colors will change into variations of red or variations of blue let's raise this to the top and I'll place it over top of the black text and you get kind of a cool effect here so that's why I saved that okay so this one here the pattern we're going to export it file export PNG 
and let's name this, well, let's send it to the desktop, desktop slash camo, and we'll call it uh, 44, camo 44, because I've done a couple of versions of this already, and I'll export it. So now we'll go to file, import, and we'll look for this thing that we've saved on our desktop. And there it is, Camel 44. We'll open it, click OK, and make sure Embed is selected. So now this is a PNG. This is an image you'll see at the bottom of the screen. An image embedded in layer one. So let's go to, let's turn it to a vector. We'll go Path and Trace Bitmap. Now let's click the Live Preview. And you'll see brightness cutoff isn't going to work. Edge detection is not going to work. Color quantization, even in inversion, not going to work. What is going to work is colors. You'll see that works pretty good. We've got eight scans here. I'm going to uncheck smooth because what that will do is it will kind of try and blend them by using a bit of a blur, which comes out really crappy. You can experiment with that if you like. So I'm going to click remove background because we don't want a white background. And let's, let's reduce the scans. I know it's going to be five, but keep an eye on the colors here. So nothing's disappeared until I get to four and then we've lost a color. So let's keep it at five and we'll click OK. And then we'll X out of this menu. So now this is editable. OK, so let's zoom in here. I'll press Control. Move this, whoops. Now this here, we need to ungroup them. So if you see at the bottom there, it says group of four objects in layer one. So let's ungroup them all and see what we have here. You'll see that the bounding boxes show us that we have several layers. So that's what this layering does. Okay, control Z, I'll put them all back. So after you ungroup them, you can click off the graphic, go to the select tool, and we can select an individual individual piece of this graphic and you can color it whatever you like. Maybe you want to go with shades of blue or something. You choose a darker blue. Um, I'm just cho choosing the colors that are close to me right here. And I've run out of blues. Maybe we'll choose a black. Okay, so that is the end of the tutorial. If you liked the tutorial, please like, subscribe, find me on Facebook to get updates on new tutorials, and as always, thank you for watching.